Hello and welcome to Books ABC series here on my Dinesh Guarda YouTube podcast series and as well powered by openbusinesscouncil.org, citiesabc.com and fashionabc.org. Books are magic and books change lives and books have a power if we read them and if we actually find ways to take it and take them into our lives. There are some estimates that there's around 130 million books in the world. But uh, of course, you cannot read them all, but you have to choose well the ones you want to read. So I want to focus today in one book that I actually uh, I read recently that I, I want to highlight. So is Nick Rosa, Understanding the Metaverse, um, a business and ethical guide. And uh, I want to touch this as a, a practicality in terms of this book. And I've been highlighting in our series a lot of books about Metaverse because, of course, we are on this. And what I want to highlight is that I think especially because it's a new thing, there's a lot of myths. And I think uh, the book is interesting in particular because it looks as the technology and all the human evolution. And uh, from the, the contents, I think one interesting, and this book, this series are short summaries, so it's not the entire book. But I will as I like this. So technology and the human evolution, digital primitives and emergence, a case for digital selection. So it looks from uh, the idea of metaverse more from an evolutionary perspective. And then from dystopia to utopia, how we get into the metaverse, then gaming to metaverse, how game mechanics and technology are going. And I'm going through the table of contents, which I think is important to summarize. But I like as well the idea of the an equable and decentralized blockchain a revolution, the blockchain and crypto, the brave new world, the sociology of metaverse, and suggestions for a strategy approach to the metaverse for business, and the key role of artificial intelligence and deep learning in the metaverse. It's a synthetic, very interesting book. And the author, um, I think Nick Rosa, is the metaverse strategy lead for Europe uh, at Accenture, of course, a big corporation. He's a product strategist, experienced designer, and digital transformation expert, and he's also one of the board of directors of the Academy of International Extended Reality. Here it is the book, and of course, the team will highlight this. This is by Wiley, which is one of my favorite publishing houses, and I think one of the ones that is more pushing the borders in terms of technology. I think what I would like to do here is more in terms of uh, understanding this book, which is different from the last ones I've been talking. I think I think I probably did a bit of a series about all the books that I found about Metaverse. So this is one of them. And I think in terms of the thing here that you can understand is that um, when we're landing on the Metaverse, uh, this is actually from the introduction, we're going to look at the role of the technology has played in human evolution over the centuries. And this is fund fundamental to understanding why the Metaverse is far from a fad and is in fact said to be truly transformational for human society. So it's something that I deeply um, subscribe. And, um, and I think it's really an important thing that we look at this from a perspective of understanding how we're going to look at the maze of technology that is going to come out of the metaverse, how we balance the positive and the negative, and as well, how we drive technology adoption from vision to reality, and as well, how we can actually make a sustainable technology that doesn't create another disruption um, narrative. And I think one of the challenges with the metaverse, especially when the metaverse applied to artificial intelligence, what the definition of metaverse is, uh, I think the basic stuff, and there's actually a chapter here with great power comes great responsibility. And I would just highlight um, uh, some texts here that I think are important. Um, <clears throat> And I'll read the quote as well from the first chapter. We've been seeing this happen multiple times in recent years. Skype emerged when people switched from dial-up internet connections to broadband and fiber optic connections. Spotify exploded as a mobile app when 3G arrived and the iPhone was launched. Of course, this facilitated not only Spotify, but also music streaming more broadly. Now the arrival of 5G and soon also 6G networks will have the ability, or will have the ability for web AR platforms 
to thrive and bring metaverse content in front of our eyes and blend it into our reality. The technology for this vision to become the reality that we need is here, or it will be available in the near future. And this is a fact as its development is fueled by billions invested by companies around the world. Everything is converging. The next wave of technological transformation is building and the metaverse is coming. So I think it's really interesting the way the book looks at history. And I think it's particularly interesting the, the, narr the narrative and the sharp focus on the, especially the chapter of, uh, I think it's a great chapter. The second chapter for me is one of the most interesting ones. The way you look, particular in terms of digital primitives and the emergence, a case for digital selection. This is, I think, one of the biggest challenge for all people that are in my podcast and listening to this is digital selection is going to be one of the biggest things in the evolution of humanity. And especially as AI and metaverse includes, and I think that's one of the theses of uh, Nick Rosa, uh, is that this digital selection is going to be increasing more important on metaverse because not everyone will be able to cope with these technologies. And as well, uh, even if you look, for instance, there's 400 million companies in the world, but only probably 10% of the companies worldwide have a website. So the digital selection is becoming a very serious thing. And although there's a lot of social media profiles, only 1% of the people are really active on social media. Most of them are just looking at this. And this area, area or age of exploration, as the book mentioned, is key as well. But I think it's, I will read as well a part here of the second chapter that is uh, about uh, we're renting an age of exploration. So uh, this is on page 42 and 43. The age of exploration of the potential of 3D worlds and immersive experiences already began. For example, while many pre virtual reality games created to date have been the likes of first person shooters, there are some that are break breaking the mold. One that stands out for me at the time of this writing is Echo VR, which you can play on the Meta Quest VR headset. If you've seen the film Ender's Game, you will likely remember the scene where they play M ball in space. Echo VR is similar, except the ball is swapped for a frisbee. It's essentially a multiplayer game staged in a huge arena where you float in this immersive world playing alongside your teammates. I believe this is the beginning, this is just the beginning of the exploration of these kinds of experience that are completely different to our physical reality. We are going to move towards a virtual world more similar to that depicted in the book Ready Player One, as we begin to understand the true value of creating a different breed of experience that are impossible to have in real life. However, in order to reach this stage, we have to begin by introducing people to virtual worlds that they find familiar and by helping them get used to them in a comfortable and safe way. So there's a lot more for the book. I think this is some of the things that I like particular. And uh, and I think especially um, Nicholas Re Nick Rosa, and I think he has a great experience. It's a great book to have because, of course, he, he worked for Sp Spotify, IBM, IX, Yahoo, and Atari. And uh, he's right now part of the Accenture Metaverse Continuum Business Group, where he leads the Metaverse and Extend Reality Strategy in Europe. And Nick is also the chairman of the British Inter Interactive Media Association Council for Immersive Technologies, where he helps define best practice, use cases, and advantage for using XR um, for UK digital agencies. He's the director of the Academy of International Extended Reality, a non-profit entity producing the annual VR awards. And Nick is also the co-host and co-author of a monthly podcast produced by IXIR called Field of View, where he interviews entrepreneurs, researchers, and pioneers in the fields of metaverse and extended reality. And I think this is kind of a, about these books, ABC, understanding the metaverse, the business and the ethical guide. There's a lot of considerations here about ethics. This is summaries, and that's why it's called Books, ABC. Hope you can find the book and the rest is for you to read. Of course, this is not to read the entire book. Um, thank you so much for making it. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one.